the sun is out, the sky is blue, it's spring in the Boston area, and I just love this time of year. So I'm here to tell you a little tip or two about real estate and why the spring is the hot market for buyers and sellers. Better for sellers than buyers because there's more competition. Stick with me, I'll be right back. So you might think, why is it that the spring is the hot market? Well, a couple things. First of all, there's no snow in this area to cover up some of the property. The second thing is all the landscaping and shrubbery around a home is in full bloom. So it's the prettiest time of year for property. The other thing is people want to find their house, buy it, move in before their kids start school in September. So if you start looking in April, May, June, and you get into contract, then you still have July and part of August to close and then get the kids into school. So that's competition. If you don't have kids, I don't know if I would look at this time of year. I might wait until all the activity starts to die down a little in August, and then the families kind of step out of the market and you'll have less competition in September, October, November, December. Personally, I bought my property in December. Time of year for our buyers. Even though they'll have more to pick from now, the competition is tough. It's a great time for sellers because even if you have a property with a little question, questionable features, things that maybe you don't want to fix, but you're willing to be flexible with a buyer, you'll probably get a few offers, so you might not have to fix that thing. So it's really a good time for sellers. It's important to start out knowing what you want and then making, you get, making sure you get an agent right away. Get an agent, get to know them a little bit because you're gonna work very closely. You wanna see eye to eye. They're gonna help you stay on top of a new listing. A new listing comes in. A new listing comes in. Did you know that we have access to the MLS immediately? The new listing is loaded, whereas all the other websites, probably every couple of hours they like reboot everything and new listings come in so literally we could get a li an email that says flash new listing so that's why your agent can be jumping on things for you um, the other thing is your agent will educate you there's going to be a lot of competition um, I just had someone asking for six seven hundred thousand dollar houses in Hyde Park uh, on the southern part of Boston they were two. I looked them up. They're in contract already. And they were two over a million. Since when does Hyde Park have homes over a million? I don't know. So it is crazy out there. And the more you know, the better you are. So you're going to research on your own. And then when you're pretty clear what you want, you sit down with an agent. And they're going to give you a whole education of what's going on in the market, what to expect. If you want a house at six hundred thousand, you're going to have to look at five fifty, because you need the flexibility to overbid if it's the house you love. But if no one told you this before and you're hearing it for the first time, watch a lot of my videos because it will really help give you an overview of what the market is like in the Boston area, Eastern Massachusetts, even all the way down to Cape Cod. Uh, it's a little crazy, but it doesn't mean you're not going to get a house. If you really listen and be strategic, you will get a house. I don't think I've ever written more than three offers for one client because the further we get into it and the more they see, they didn't get it because they only want to go up $10,000. Well, that's why you have to adjust what you're looking for as a buyer.
So what are a couple of things that are gonna really help you if you have to buy this summer? Be flexible. If there is something you love, be flexible when writing your offer. If you're a seller, be flexible with closing times, people moving, getting the kids into school, understand that everyone might be in the same boat, wanna close and then move in six weeks, can't go over. And if you are a first time buyer, make sure that you take the time to talk to your agent, listen to what they have to say, so when you walk into properties, you're not shocked. Um, you understand what you have to do to find your house. And as always, cash is king. The more down payment, the better your chances. This is Karen O'Brien at Boston and the Burbs. I will see you again. I have over 150 videos. Have a good time watching. Have a great day.